All right, well, here's the first example this year of a crazy local government decision. A Sydney council has spent two years arguing about the position of a park bench. That's right, a park bench has occupied their attention for two years and finally they've decided we're going to move the park bench at the expense of $6,000 to local ratepayers. Now, this bench was donated by a local resident and positioned on the nature strip in St Ives. Some people loved it, but others claimed it was too close to the road. So the council paid for numerous traffic studies. Then they paid for a private consultant to come in and do risk assessments. Then they paid for a mediator to come in and chair a public meeting. The topic of this park bench took up an inordinate amount of time in council meetings. Get this, one local councillor even described the position of the park bench as, and I quote, a moral issue. Here's some of that council meeting. Morally, I feel the bench should be removed. I have an uneasiness with the safety issues which have been brought to the attention of councillors. I can't unsee what has been brought to my attention. We're talking about safety with a bench. Have you looked up and down the Pacific Highway? We've got benches there within, you know, arm's length of traffic, so you don't seem to have any problems there. What this does is gives you this, I'm talking about this for shared emotion, it gives you an opportunity to look for a different place. However, that bench, that offending bench is still there. We've got enough battles in this council that we're going to be dealing with. They're a lot bigger than a seat in a very quiet location that a member of the public has gone to the trouble to pay for it for themselves. So after all of that, the Karingai Council finally decided we're going to spend $6,000 and move the bench. Kel, could this story get any sillier? But it actually does, doesn't it? It does. It's actually silly and weird. The street, for a start, is called Marion Street. Marion Close in St Ives. It's about 40 or 50 metres long. It's a dead end. There are about eight houses there. <laughs> this is a tiny little community, right? Now, it started in 2021 when someone without council permission, that's the big deal, have paid to put up a bench painted in rainbow pride colours. And the problem was they didn't have council permission. So the council came and took it away. Then another resident said, I'll pay to put up a traditional little old brown bench, mm. which is what was then erected. I'll pay for it, but they got council permission. So it was erected and everything was OK. But there was a division in that little community because some of them wanted the old colourful rainbow bench and some of them wanted the new traditional brown bench. Thank and God. that has gone on for two years. And it's still not over. The fat lady has not sung on this issue because now they're going to return. Council will reconvene to decide on the new location uh, yes. of said bench. There's a carpenter in St Ives who's like, how is this costing six grand? I'll do it for two. So every single aspect of this entire thing has been an absolute joke from start to finish. And get this, the community survey that the council undertook, the vast majority said, no, mm. we want to retain it, we want to keep it. And the council's own report, after all those safety assessments, after the independent consultant was bought in, again, ratepayers, you're forking out for this, that report said, yes, retain it as well. And that all went out the door after ratepayers paid for all those <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> measures for the council to say, now nah, we're getting rid of it anyway. There is but a good part to this, though. It's great to see a local council dealing with park benches rather than calling for a ceasefire in Gaza <laughs> or for the <laughs> climate to be changed. The, At least they're dealing with a local issue, but albeit the a bench. Democracy issue is there are eight ratepayers in that street. Six of them want the bench. Two of them don't. And the two who don't want it have won. I do also, not understand. If you're going to follow this line of reasoning to its logical conclusion, mm. we should get rid of bus stops. Because <laughs> they are on very busy thoroughfares and they are basically just park benches sitting right there. Someone is going to get hurt. Now, if viewers are thinking, gee, you guys are spending a long time on this park bench, just remember the council spent two years <laughs> talking about this. So go easy this on This is us. a quick synopsis. This is a quick synopsis.